Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Girls Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Take this scenario, you have two lists. Names in list A are spelled slightly different from the names in list B. They may be the same names, but because of the differences, you may not be able to use, say, a VLOOKUP or index match to do that lookup process. Join me in Excel, let me show you one trick around this. So here we have list A and then we have list B. Okay, so if you look closely, you realize that Anthony Kofi Annan, which is the first name here, is spelled Anthony K Annan. So Kofi is a K here. Similar case, Ellen Boatima is spelled Ellen B Denta here. Okay. In situations like this, um, if you use an index match or VLOOKUP, you may not get the right result. So a way around this is to use fuzzy lookup. If you have Power Query, you are able to use fuzzy lookup directly. The first thing we are going to do is to load these two tables into Power Query so we can do the transformation and then subsequently do our fuzzy lookup. So standing in this table to my left, Power Query is under data. In the leftmost part, you see get and transform. So the idea is you're able to use Power Query to connect to any data source to clean and transform it or shape it in any form you want. For this purpose, we are connecting to tables. So this icon here will help you connect to data from a table or sheet. So standing in here, you click on this and then it opens up the Power Query window. So when this opens up, we are just loading list A and then once it loads, we confirm it's here. We just close and load to Okay, and then you save it as a connection. This is to allow you load the second table. So the same process, we go here, and then we load the second table as well. So again, this comes in, and then I have list B also here. So these are the two tables I'm going to work with. Now, once these two tables are in Power Query, somewhere in the middle, we are going to combine these two tables using Merge. So merge is to connect the two tables, the left and then the right, by using common columns in between the two tables. So we have options to merge this existing one I've selected or do the merger as a new table. So we choose merge queries as new. So when that happens, it creates another table and then it gives us the merger. Now, our answer is going to come from list B where we have only names so that will become our left table because we want the amounts to be added to this particular table so list b becomes our reference point our left table and then list a becomes our other table once you're able to pull these two tables you select the common columns between these two tables so in list b is the names and then list a is the names as well now, it attempts to do a default matching. So if you look down here, you observe that it's able to match two of the seven names. Okay. We are doing a left outer join. Left outer join means that of the two tables, we are starting off maintaining the data from the left one, which is list B. And then you are connecting any other table from the other one, list A, that matches. So that is the whole concept. We'll be doing the other kinds of joins in subsequent videos. For this one, it's left outer join. Now, under left outer join, you have the option to use what we call fuzzy. So fuzzy is to help you match names that are not exactly the same. So there's a little allowance for misspelling. Okay. Now take it like this. Zero is imperfect and one is perfect. That's kill. Okay. So in the fuzzy matching options, anything close to one means you are doing the perfect matching. Anything down 0 0.5 means you are matching names that are not exactly the same. So for that threshold, is default set at 0 0.8. We are going to put ours at 0 0.4 and see whether it can increase the number of matches. So I have 0 0.4. Now, if I close my fuzzy matching, you observe that I have seven of seven matches. 
So you probably will be playing around with this till you get to the point where you find the exact threshold. So after this, I'm going to click OK. And it's going to create a new merge table. This is going to be my answer sheet. My names in list B start. And then I have options to add the column I need from list A. Now it gives me an expandable table. So I'll click here. The idea is to choose which column from A that you are interested in to connect it to B. So here I'm going to uncheck this one, use original column name as prefix. And I'm going to uncheck this one as well and then choose amount. So it's only amount I want to match from list A and I click OK. So in the end, this is going to be my answer. I now have been able to match these amounts from list A to these other names in list B. Final thing is to export your answer. Now, because I have a lot of tables here, I'm going to close and load all as connections. So I'll click only create connection and I'll click OK. So it comes in here as a connection. So we'll take a connection as just a temporal hold of your answer. And now standing here, I'm going to convert this connection and load to a table. Okay, so I'm now going to dump this in I5 where I selected earlier and I'll click OK. So it's the same table, but this time around, even though Anthony K. Annan is Anthony Kofi Annan in this list A, is able to pull the right amount from this point here. The good thing about Power Query is that if the data increases, you don't have to go through this again. You can just click refresh. The same lookup will go through and update your answers. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list. So you receive videos directly on your phone on Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.